Yo, what's going on shiny hunters? It's the shiny Oreo coming back at you again today with another YouTube video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use your custom firmware switches to install mods onto games that you play All right, guys, if you enjoy the content, make sure you hit that thumbs up. You know, it helps me out tremendously to know that you guys actually do appreciate about the videos that I that I put out for you guys. Also, hit that subscribe button. I'm on the road to 1K subscribers. I tried to hit it by the end of the year. We missed it, but we're going to go ahead and push for it. I also need those watch hours up in order to, you know, get monetized by YouTube. So make sure you guys are watching the videos all the way through as well. With that being said, I'm done wasting you guys' time. Let's show you guys how to install these mods on your Nintendo Switch. So in order to get the mods that you want, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate Breath of the Wild. But you could use this for any game whatsoever. You're going to go to GameBananas.com slash games and i'll link this in the description down below for you guys but once you go here you're going to be brought to this page right here if you go to the search bar right here you can type in whatever game that you want to modify on your nintendo switch so for instance uh let me click on it first we're going to do breath of the wild so i just type in legend of zelda It'll give me some Legend of Zelda titles. Now this one right here says Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Wii U. That is not the one we want to use unless you have a Wii U. In that case, this video is probably not for you anyways. <laughs> the one that we want to do is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Switch. So once we get taken to this screen right here, we're going to have all these options that we can do. And there's a crap ton of mods. Now do be careful while downloading and installing these mods because sometimes you can run mods in together with programming and then some mods don't work well with other mods so just just be careful um for this for the sake of this video we're gonna do uh breath of the wild randomizer because you know i think that's freaking awesome that they have a randomizer for breath of the wild now so as you can see um playing the breath of the wild randomizer after you've done everything correctly you're going to get this staff and the staff is going to allow you to um do the randomizer settings so you can check goal change options uh a lot of the things you're going to be doing is under change options um you can get random items given to you um you can make it pretty much randomized day and night you can make it randomized the weather like there's so much you can do with this randomizer it's it's ridiculous so obviously right here you're just going to scroll down until you see the manual download now it gives you like some directions but if you just watch this video through you'll be fine so you'll hit manual download and then you're going to hit this download button right after and it's going to download hopefully There it goes. Now, once the download is done, you need to make sure that your Nintendo Switch is completely turned off. You need to install your SD card into your PC. And then you'll have this pulled up right here. This pulled up right here, your E drive. That's where, if you're using Windows 10, that's where your, uh, your stuff is at as we're waiting for this download to finish up. Whoa, what the heck? There it is, okay. All right, so right here, I'm gonna go to show and folder, and then you can actually, you know, close out or whatever, or, you know, shrink it, whatever you wanna do if, in case you wanna install more mods. So we're gonna double click the randomizer, bring it over here to, so you guys can see it. And right here, this folder says Breath of the Wild randomizer. Double click it again. So the you want to go ahead and drag both of these files right here. The one that ends in 001 and the other one that ends in E000. You want to drag both of those files in this atmosphere folder. So double click atmosphere. Then you're going to go down to content. Uh, then I've already got the randomizer on here, but I'm going to drag and drop it anyways. Um, 
one thing to note when you go into uh some files that you download as far as um mods and all that um if you go into their folders in the uh shoot i can't think of this in the zip file sometimes it's going to tell you instead of content it's going to tell you title if that is the case make sure that you are changing the folder name of that to contents instead of title because title was used back in the day when um the switch was first hacked and everything else that folder has then thus then since been moved to content sorry if i'm sounding weird so make sure that you are if you run into that problem your folder says content not title as seen right here contents make sure it's named exactly that in this case we don't have to worry about it so we're not gonna get into it but pretty much at this point right here you're gonna drag and just drop the files and it's gonna do its thing it's gonna ask you if you want to replace files that are already in there you're gonna say yes In this case, it didn't. Well, okay, there's a second part. Now, replace files in destination. Go ahead and check mark it. And it's going to replace any file that's in there because you may have a, another mod in there with a file, same file name, but it's different. You just want to make sure that this is the one you're using. Biggest thing that you should probably be doing, like especially if you're not downloading the random if you're not playing the randomizer but you have it downloaded on your sd card just go ahead and delete the randomizer file on your sd card and try not to run too many like i said before try not to run too many mods at the same time because it can definitely get confusing and that's it and that's pretty much all there is to do um a lot of games won't have the Last thing I should say before I end this, a lot of games won't have the game ID. So if that's the case, you do need to look up the game ID as well before installing mods. But that's pretty much how you install the Breath of the Wild randomizer. Like I said, any uh, files will work on any game as long as you own the game and it's downloaded and playable on your Nintendo Switch. I cannot show you gameplay of the randomizer on YouTube because by doing so, apparently, I go against copyright laws and Nintendo takes down my video. So, please trust it does work. If you want to see it work in action, please check me out on twitch.tv forward slash shiny Oreo. I will be playing this randomizer for a few more days on Twitch before going back to Pokemon content. I'm going to get out of here, though. You guys have yourselves a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.